We'll return you to the Sci-Fi Channel original presentation, The Anorexia of Tess Holiday, in just a moment. <laughs> I'm Toxic Male, this is Gruntspeak Live, and that is Terrence Pop. What's up, you freight train fornicators? And no lasagna at the end, either. And by popular request, we have a hamster. <laughs> Oh, God, no. Where is yes. he? Oh, he's over there. Wrote. I think oh I hear God. him. And I already have my feet up. I've been pre-gaming. It's going to be a uh, you, glorious you really, yeah. day. Oh, oh, man. So how have you been enjoying your uh, your 2022 so far up Richard Gere's ass? It's been okay you know, it's for been you? A, it's been quite a ride. It's been an, it's been interesting. It's been, right. Is it Richard Gere or Tom Cruise? I keep forgetting. I'm it's pretty sure it's Richard Gere. Uh, yeah. Who knows? He yeah. likes to switch gears uh, on oh, you. Oh, you know? it's a gerbil joke. Oh, yeah, it's a gerbil joke. I, I totally didn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> is your hair gets all matted up. It's terrible. Oh, like, uh, awful. But, you know, hey. I was like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right out of the gate, somebody's talking he, about he likes ramming to put something up somebody's... hamsters up his ass. Dude. Yeah. And, and then forcefully Armageddon. inject them. Remember that? Armageddon with the uh, the uh, toilet paper roll. Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was like when I was in freaking high school or, or tech school or something. It's like, <laughs> yeah, did you hear about the guy who got the toilet? It's Armageddon and his, he blew up? Yeah. Yeah, I remember oh, listening yeah. to that comedy skit. <laughs> was, oh, is that what it was? Yeah, it was I don't yeah. even remember. It was fucking it was hilarious. Like that Armageddon was the safe word. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. How fucked up is your sex life if your safe word is Armageddon? I, I know. I know. She. It's like my ex. My ex. Uh, <laughs> my ex. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that's when her butthole turns into a strawberry. Armageddon. Yeah, All right. Allegedly. Fine. Okay. I was so close. God, you're terrible. <laughs> Stupid uh, bitch. <laughs> which ex, Pop? Which ex? You slut. It doesn't matter. You know it. All, All right. of them. First of all, I want everyone. <laughs> In the comments to chime <laughs> off with what you're drinking. Yes. Because uh, we want to know what you're drinking. And this this is not our stream. This is your stream. We want to know your best, worst, funniest, nastiest drunk experiences. Because it's St. Patty's Day and we are drinking Jameson Black Barrel and Guinness. Because that's how we roll around here. And it is quite delicious. Yeah. It is, oh, I, yeah, yeah. I've got the same Guinness as you, Pop. I just don't have the hard stuff, but I'll try to keep up. I'll do my best. Yeah. Well, let's not have any sloppy drunking at the drunking at well, the no, end. Is no one's we're going here. on? No. No. All right. So first of all, we're here for. First of all, <laughs> this is to all the fans who watch this show on a regular basis. And you come to this show because you need a respite from adulting. I got it. Yeah. Now listen. I told my kids. I told all of the, like, the young people that I mentored throughout the years, don't be in such a hurry to grow up. Because once you get there, it's not really that much fun. There's a lot of pressure, and you can't go back. True. Yeah. True. So, this one's to you. Adult with me, please. <laughs> I got to refill mine. Mm. Got to refill. I already drank a shot. Sláinte. <laughs> Sláinte. Mm. What are you drinking, hamster? I've got Guinness draft stout oh, yeah. in the bottle. Yep. Just like Excellent. pop there. Yeah, I have uh, Guinness myself, but I decided to bust out this uh, beer stein here actually belonged to my dad. Mm-hmm. Uh, he uh, has been gone. Now, this year will be 19 years, and I have never drank a beer out of one of his steins until today. So Here's to him. I'm raising wow. this to him. All All right. Right. Let's, ho- let's hope he's tuning in because you're, doing, the- oh, you're yeah. doing him proud. Oh, Guinness and Black Barrel, peaches and cream, baby. Oh. Peaches and cream. And we went to 428. 428, yes. Now, listen, I'm, I'm going to tell you this right now. I had no intention when I started the whole redonkulous thing on uh, having it as successful as it has been. Now, do I mean, do I have a million dollars? No. No, I don't. And to be honest with you, at my age, if you gave me that kind of money, it, I really wouldn't do anything with it anyway. You'd probably give it to your kids. Maybe. So maybe. Uh, I might I might get it. <laughs> you must then, renounce the woke shit, and then I will cut you a check. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, I, what's probably going to happen is I'm going to leave behind a DVD and show all of the stuff I spent my money on <laughs> and leave nothing <laughs> Nothing but but <laughs> dusts and fart smells in a can. For them. <laughs> and then at the bottom, there'll be a note that says, figure it the fuck out. Figure it out. I did it. 
the first 30 minutes is just hookers and blow. All right, so <laughs> they're all well, watching between their fingers. All right, and, <laughs> hey, send in, the, send in like your super boat. chats with what you're drinking, <laughs> and we'll try to go through the stories because, uh, as you know, um, I am – Shall, that's how we say it. I I do not have a drinking problem. I have problems, so I drink. Amen. And through yep. the years, I have a smorgasbord of funny drunk <sighs> stories for you. Let's start with one of yours. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call this one Noble Hill. Oh, boy. Okay. So... Uh, All right. A buddy it wasn't of mine, noble when it, when you got there, but it was noble a buddy of mine and, and I go down to the Madigan Club on Fort Lewis, and it was just a notorious underage kind of enlisted club, and it was just an insane fucking meat market. So meat market. we we go there, we're hanging out, and a couple of girls start buying us booze. Not and, a bad way to go. No, yeah, so we, we're drinking yeah. it, and we're not saying no. And the bows kept flowing, and next thing you know, <laughs> ah, uh, I got mm-hmm. the anchor. Oh no! So uh, you know, we 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 jump in uh, my buddy's vehicle, and we drive out there on to Noble Hill, and we are messing around. At least I'm messing around with the anchor, and he's doing something with this other chick. And I'm standing there in the rain, and I really wasn't into it because I was <laughs> drunk. I mm. starting to sober mm. up, and they, this woman wanted action. So she unsheathed the one-eyed wonder worm <laughs> and proceeded to assume the position. And went to town. Was it the open option position or no, the? I'm okay. just literally standing there outside the jeep. The all vowel opera hour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm standing outside the jeep, going, "Oh my god! Well, okay. Well, if this, this is the way it's going to be, if she can cook." Yeah, and <laughs> and I started sobering up, and then finally I'm like, "I'm going to have to talk to this girl," and uh, she's not feeling it. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I pull out and I just take off at a dead sprint. Na, 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 My na. buddy, <laughs> he doesn't know anything is going on. He just sees me run off because we're Ranger buddies. That's yeah, that's the way it works. He's like, oh shit! So he's running behind me. <laughs> and the, uh, as I'm t- I'm tearing down the hill, coming up on the the back end of Alpha Company, I can hear this woman. Hey, hey, hey! hey! <laughs> It was like this blood curdling, like Sasquatch kind of scream with a gurgle frustrate. It was, it made my skin crawl. <laughs> now I'm not a member, and I was not a member of Alpha Company, but back then all Rangers had a high tight haircut. So we literally, me and my buddy, draw. We we run in through the back door, run right up to the CQ. Can't barely breathe because we just sprinted almost a half a mile. And I'm like, ah, God, I have fat women. Oh, yes. And without missing a beat, he's like, Roger that. Opens his door. <laughs> <laughs> and me and my buddy get in there. And you hear these girls come, you know, waddling in, you know. Ah, have you seen these arrangers? And he's just like, ma'am, you, you can't be in here, ma'am. They ran in here. Did you see them? Uh, ma'am, I... You cannot be in here. This is a military barracks. I'm sorry. You need to leave. So they leave. About five minutes later, the CQ opens the door and he goes, are you going to fill me in? <laughs> what, what, what's going on? Details. Details. But he he literally didn't know what was going on. Instantaneously, he gets up, hiding here, handled it like a, a true professional. <laughs> And they, these women like wallowed off into the into the, the rain filled night, and I never saw them again. <laughs> oh. I'm just amazed that the anchor was able to keep decent enough time with two rangers, where she she was able to maintain visual contact and know what door you ran into. Yeah, I, I would assume it'd be like a 
it, it would look like a busted biscuit can rolling down the hill trying to come after you. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 God. God. Yeah, she wasn't that oh, no. big, but it was definitely, it was, not, it was not a proud moment for the popster. <laughs> not, not a proud moment at all. It's one of my favorite stories, though. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is why we drink, man. This is why we drink. Mm -mm. Uh, Usually what gets you in trouble, (laughs) like like thus and such. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. We got all kinds of trouble. (laughs) Uh, It's all kinds of dumb shit that happens. I wish I had some great stories like that, but I I really don't. Uh, You go in the military. (laughs) I did not. I wanted to, but I'm too fat and ugly, Mm -hmm. especially fat. And then uh, (laughs) we had... uh, Face the radio, right? We had a guy named Sergeant B. We're not going to say his name because he's getting pierced. But uh, I swear to God, he had like one eighth of a liver. <laughs> he would like literally, oh, he just got fucked up oh, like with two or three shots and he's done. Just fucking done. I know a guy like that. His name is Jerry. I, I love him. I've known him but, since I was a kid. But you give that dude a, a, a bottle of Bud Light. Yeah, done. And by the time he's done, how are you doing? Well, well, check this out. We're in Germany. I'm out with, he's not even in my team at the time. Okay. I, I'm a team leader. We're in Germany. We're, we're out having a deal. And, and apparently, his team left old Sergeant B alone. And like, we're in the bar. There's five of us. For the only Americans in there, except for Sergeant B, who's literally unconscious <laughs> at, a, at a booth, we can't leave him. <laughs> so literally, we carried him under our arm, like four of us, like a log, and carried him. <laughs> and literally, we're walking into bars, and the, and the, the bouncer's just like, what's going on here? And we grab him by his hair. Oh, he's still alive. It's all good. <laughs> okay, come on. That's fine. <laughs> Weekend at Purdy's. <laughs> That's exactly. That's exactly. We carried that motherfucker around for like the whole night, <laughs> and then we had mandatory formation. And this has actually happened a few times with different people. But zero eight, hundred percent. Everyone needs to be back at the barracks, and they're gonna, they're doing you know uh, an inspection. Now he just wants to make sure he's got one hundred and forty bodies. And uh, 140 bodies went off into the countryside to enjoy the country and the ambiance. And the next morning, 140 people are back. And and that happened, except old Sergeant B. We had to strap him to a bed frame, carry the whole bed frame down to formation, stood it up. And he's like, look. <laughs> and our first sergeant walks up and just does this. He's like, all right, he's all right. <laughs> Take him upstairs. <laughs> he didn't wake up until like four o'clock in the afternoon. The next day. How long was he out at that point? Like eighteen hours? Well, okay, so it was eight in the morning. We got when we found him. It was midnight, and he was unconscious. Oh shit! So he was unconscious from one uh, sometime before midnight till four o'clock in the afternoon the next day. So it's at least eighteen hours, roughly. Yeah, literally, shit. he wakes up and he's on the bunk. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, where am I? Like here in the barracks, you no liver drinking motherfucker. <laughs> you almost fucked our entire night. <laughs> Fuck you, Sergeant P. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, God bless, I love that guy. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't heard wow. that one before. That was a new one. That was a good one. Yeah, got a whole bunch of them. Uh, what do you got for us, Hamster? You, I'm sure you got a couple of good stories. I just, I God, I'm just, uh, nothing compares to the pop stories, I can tell you that. <laughs> but I was I was thinking about this one guy, and he was a ginger dude I worked with. And this is one of those where, you know, because we hear all the time, oh, the women just like all these tall guys and all this shit. Hey, okay, good. Except this guy was like five, six, maybe seven, pretty average guy. And he is a ginger dude and very, you know, good looking guy, whatever. But he would go on St. Patrick's, especially St. Patty's, St. Patty's wearing day. a kilt. <laughs> right? He put of a kilt course. on. Hopefully he wore underwear. And- nope. No. Oh, shit. No, okay. No, no, That's no, not how it works. No. <laughs> All right. I need another shot. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, yeah. Me too. But uh, anyway, so he'd go. So he's out on there. St. Wa- Patty's. He's walking around with full bubble gum. Uh, he, uh, well, sure. Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what does that mean? You <laughs> pull up his skirt and you get to look at all of the shrinking and expanding uh-huh. brain bubblegum with the hair on it. He's just hanging brain under there, man. Hanging brain. 
<laughs> Just hanging <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so, so tell me, brother, where do you sheath the knife? Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> so, evidently, uh, he he used to go around to the clubs and whatever on St. Patty's. And he'd be wearing there's kilt, and his, all these girls would be going, why are you wearing a kilt? Blah, 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 blah. You wearing underwear? And so he, as you can imagine, he would pull it up and, and show him uh, his, his big horse down there and whatever. <laughs> nice. And, Mr. Hayes. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, so what's and our, I think he told me a couple stories where it was like, uh, yeah, you know, go in the closet and, uh, you know, well, yeah, things happen. Yeah. What's our inventory for tonight? <laughs> a quick roll call here. We got 623 and slowly climbing on YouTube. Kind of a slow start to the night over there. 28 people on MGTOWN.TV. We got 423 on Rumble. 94 currently watching on Odyssey. 47 on DLive and 57, oh, my correction, 58 on Twitch. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's enjoying their St. Patty's tonight. Day. Yeah. I'm I'm kind of doing St. Patty's slash horror. I got my silver shamrock shirt on here. Little Halloween three shout out for people who watch that series. Yeah, my actually uh, my favorite Irish pub is closed. Which one was that? The Blarney Stone in Berkeley, Michigan. Oh, when did that close? It's been closed for a long time. Ah, oh, shit! I remember going eight, there. seven, eight mm. months. It sucks. Yep, I remember. Uh, I remember fondly quite a few St. Patty's days where I was carried out. <laughs> well no way walk in on your legs you go out on your back yeah they had to carry me out must have been a good time i don't remember <laughs> i'm told it was good <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> several weeks of your life are just floating out there and the i, I probably somewhere. have like six or seven weeks I, I, of my life i don't remember that's messed up yeah. the yeah, only time i got be. that hammered was in uh new orleans 2013, the year that I met Brittany Griner, you know, the one who apparently, despite playing basketball in the offseason in Russia for the past five, six years, somehow didn't know that you're not supposed to bring illegal drugs into the country. And now her wife wants us to give her our sympathy. Yeah. yeah that's not going to happen. Forget it. Forget about it. Well, I went down there and Neil, who, who was, him and I were joined at the hip. He was the voice, I was the tech. So. <laughs> We're going out, and he's like, I'm going to get fucked up. I'm like, all right, well, go around. I'll bring my camera with me, you know, because I had a little DSLR camera. I was just taking pictures of shit, you know, making sure that we, he remembered the night at the very least, because I figure I'm not going to get drunk. Mm -hmm. Well, apparently, New Orleans shot girls had a different plan for me mm -hmm. that night. I knew exactly how much I was going to have to drink, and I love those, like, those hurricane slushies. You get them, like, this fucking big, and you can nurse one of those things for two hours just walking around Bourbon Street. Mm-hmm. Uh, she comes up to me. She's got two vials left in her little wireframe thing, and I got my change back. She's like, do you want my last two shots with your change? And I said, no, thanks, honey. I'm all good. I turn to talk to Neil, and then all of a sudden I get a tap on my shoulder. I turn back, and this little blonde thing with what I'm hoping was just acne scars but could have very well been sexual scabies on her face. God damn. Took these uh -huh. two fucking vials. She had them in her mouth. She grabbed my hair on the back wrenched my neck back and poured him down my fucking gullet. And I was so uh -huh. fucking shocked. I'm like, oh, <coughs> and I swallowed fucking shots. I'm like, what the fuck? Uh, and she's like, thanks. And she tucks the fucking money into her bra and shit. I was like, you were just, English, your second language? You were just raped. Stupid bitch. Whatever. She you, were al you were alcohol raped. I was alcohol raped. She <laughs> takes off. Yep. And then as the night goes on, my memory gets shittier. Mm. All I know <laughs> is that I had that camera with me, and apparently that was going off all night. Okay. After, well, there's oh. a, a photo of me that existed at one point in time. I'm up chucking it to the trash can on Bourbon Street. <laughs> and from then on, I remember stumbling back to the hotel room, oh. getting into the hotel room bathroom, and I'm like, this isn't going to be good. So I'm like... Strip so, down, shower, whatever. I'll try to wash out my mouth, get the fucking taste out of it as best as I could. I had the four alarm hangover the next day. But I put uh, the memory card in the computer, and it's like the end credits of the hangover. I'm like, it's like, okay, I remember them. I remember them. Who the fuck are these people? <laughs> this is the hottest bartender I've ever seen. She's she's posing holding a bottle of fireball. Why don't I remember this chick? I'm going through these people are talking to me. I'm in this photo. <laughs> <laughs> Who did I give this camera to? <laughs> what the fuck? There's like hundreds of these things. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> it was insane. That's it was awesome. 
It's like, okay, so I know the night happened, but gone. I know exactly what that's like. Like Kaiser Sose. Uh, Except try doing it. It's it's Thursday. <laughs> you, you have a four day weekend. You go to the bar, which the bar. has a little bit of a has a. They used to call it the Black Angus in uh, Tacoma. The Black Angus. Yeah, it was a steak place, but they used to have a little bar dance floor next to it. I think Blank Angus is the one they make the Shamrock Shake for. Uh, I don't know. This got dark in here. Yeah, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry. What? What? <laughs> but yeah, man, you fucking, you, you got me fucking knocked off. I'm. <laughs> I, I'm already, I'm already like the needles falling out of the groove. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. I'll get back to that one. That's okay. You know what? At least we have a reason. We've been drinking. You know who doesn't have a reason for half of the shit that he says? Our stunning and brave Richard Potato oh, Chief. Yeah. Joe Biden accidentally announces that yeah. he has COVID and needs to be reminded that he's not Kamala Harris's husband. Nice. This is awesome. I mean, that this is, and this dude is allegedly sober. Let's check this out. Stage, but that's enough, too. Look at the stage. <laughs> but there's been a little change in the arrangement of who's on the stage because of the first lady's husband uh, contracting COVID. But uh, look at this room. <laughs> the first lady's husband contracting COVID. <laughs> what you see. <laughs> that's you, Joe. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. What the hell? She's fine. <laughs> She's fine. Oh. We elected this guy. No, we did not. We did not. Second lady, the first gentleman. How about that? He was he was installed like a uh, like that elbow piece of plumbing that collects all the shit in your sink. That's, that's pretty much it, right? That's absolutely correct. <laughs> a little sink elbow. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> It's just there. Yeah. It's, just, it's just there. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All right. He doesn't even sound like himself anymore, man. No. Well, no, he sounds like he was drunk, and I, he's probably well, not he's, drunk. He's just he is, he's old. It, he's actually approaching advanced uh, this is cognitive awesome. dysfunction. This is Alzheimer's, man. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I yeah. mean, go Google yeah. Alzheimer's and ice cream, and then Google Joe Biden and ice cream. And there you go. And have a field day. <laughs> and there you go. There you uh, go. It's quite wait, my old man will be eighty-six. He can be, you know, three quarters of into on a bottle of scotch. He doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> Seriously, that's yeah, pretty amazing. Yeah, it's good times, man. And this is another reason why we drink. Holy smoke, and Joe Frazier, I still can't believe this. Juicy Smolier Ugh. is already out of jail. Ask mm. me why. Why? Racism. No, no, no. Well, I, I'm sure that's part of it. But this is hilarious here. Juicy Smolier's legal team demands emergency release as family shares threatening call. Okay, now correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't, wasn't he in jail for fabricating a hate crime? Yep. Mm, and yep. now they managed that's... to get him out of jail by the... doing the same thing? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah, listen, this is... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I can't even... First of all, I can't even believe that he got such a, a, a minuscule uh, jail sentence. Oh, and he's bitching about... Yeah, he's got 150 days. He should be doing at least three to five years. He got 150 days, and he's in there, and he's bitching about the uh, the accommodations. I guess you know he's he's accustomed to a lifestyle, and you should pay him you know taxpayer oh. alimony because he's become accustomed to that yeah. lifestyle. Fuck that guy, right? I because he's been divorced from society now. I hope that motherfucker never works again. He, he's such a p. I mean, how fucking <clears throat> shitty are you if you? Cannot manage to maintain your own fame as an affirmative action hire in an industry that thrives on said things to the point where you have to fabricate a hate crime to try to boost your own level of stardom. I have no, I just have no idea the level of stupidity that he was he was doing. I, it blows my mind. I can't even like go down that. I, I can't even. I, it's so fucking crazy. I, I can't, can't even go I down can't. the. I can't go down the that rabbit hole. And he's he's bitching about the accommodations in jail. And it says right here, Smolier's brother, Jockich. I'm just gonna call him Smolier. Announced Sunday, his brother was in the psychiatric ward while in jail. And officials said that he was being held in the ward because it was one of the only parts of the facility that could house high-profile inmates. So he's already <laughs> being catered to. Mm -hmm. 
And that still wasn't good enough. Because, you know, threatening phone calls that arrive outside of jail where he's clearly already protected from said threats. He should have got, <laughs> he should have got, th- you're right, he should have got three to five and been out at two for good, with good behavior. Uh, well, yeah, good behavior in jail. I mean, for I mean, him, it's like a relaxation <clears throat> spa. Probably. The only reason he got convicted, you guys know, is because he's, you know, of the, 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 well, Stunning yeah. and brave. His skin color is a little, yeah. That's yeah. Right. So you, what are you saying? He's not melanin challenged? He is not melanin challenged. <clears throat> not melanin challenged. Gotcha. gotcha. And he was a mighty duck. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> Poor unfortunate soul. What a son of a bitch. <laughs> he should have just identified as a chick. Then he could have got on. No yeah, totally, yeah. Hey. Worked yeah. for Brittany Griner. Oh, too soon. I wonder how many people are out there in just getting hammered out there right now. Uh, well, I mean, there's two people in here. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, like, so. uh, like before I came here, I got on Facebook, and a lot of my friends are posting pictures of them in bars. And I know, I just know, by 2 a.m., they're all going to be yeah. fucking wrecked. Well, they're going to be carrying them out, just like happened to you at Blarney Stone. Yes, yes. Except, exactly. you know, when they carried me out, that couple, well, it wasn't exactly gentle. <laughs> Well, you know, I'm thinking when you're getting dragged out and your head hits like all the steps on the way down. Ah, one of those deals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been there. Mm. Yeah. I I have not. I I haven't gotten to that point. Oh, thank goodness. I mean, the first lit. time I ever got sick from drinking, it was just stupid, eighteen, nineteen year old shit. Yeah, I'm not really. There are only a few things that have ever made me puke. I'm not a puker. I'm. Yeah, I'm not either. I'm more. I'm, of a, I'm a blackouter. It, well, even not, you know, all drunk stuff aside, I tend to be the person who, when he gets food poisoning, it just works its way all through my guts. Yeah. That's the worst. Mm. <laughs> because instead of, okay, mm. I'm, I'm going to have like an hour of misery worshiping the porcelain god and then I'm done. You know, it's like 12 hours to, to potentially as far as two days of misery as it works its way through all my fucking guts. And uh, then, mm. then you mm. you wander mm. into the bathroom with a Stephen King novel and an alibi. <laughs> 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 I like it. it. I is. like it. All right, what's our inventory? Uh, well, we already got one, but it hasn't well, I mean, gone up too much here. We got okay. uh, 696 currently watching on YouTube. Got a lot of people out there in the bars. Oh, well, yeah, we do. Yeah. 31 people currently on MGTOW.TV, 474 on Rumble, 109 on Odyssey, 46 on DLive, and 69 <laughs> on Twitch. No. Now, now All right. <clears throat> has everyone, uh, uh, do, do we have any super chats? We do have some super chats, yes. Let's hit some of those. And I do want to do some new tech butts. Okay. Later on, so we may, you know, take a break and then do some really disgusting, nasty urban dictionary definitions. We'll see if we can make pop puke. Come on, man! Don't what? do that. I don't need. But that. isn't you'll notice that tonight's butts uh, tend to favor the gingers. Yep, that's in honor yes. of our guest yes. as well Thank as St. Patty's Day as a whole. Mm-hmm. Not to be confused with the hole that you're fucking. Or it could potentially be, oh, you know, getting now. fucked on the other side of. I mean, there's a lot of people out in bars right now. And there's going to be some holes in those bathroom stalls. Just make sure that it's not a goat looking for a carrot when you stick your junk through Toothless the Toothless goat. Chain. You don't want that. You get a dick worm. You don't want the toothless goat treatment. No, it could be very bad. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't need that. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, one, no one wants that. Yeah, it's bad news bears, baby. Bad it's, news bears. Like, how fucked up do you have to be in your thinking meat? <laughs> to, like, walk yeah. up to a hole in a yep. wall and go, you know? I'm going to put my junk through that hole. Yeah. You have no idea what's on the other side of that. Well, at least in Venezuela, where it's a chain link fence instead of a hole in the wall, I mean, you at least know what's on the other side. I'm just like, I, I just. <laughs> Venezuela and where, where on the flow chart of insanity is that actually a good idea? I just. I don't know. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not seeing it, man. Yeah, just, what the uh, hell I'm are just, you thinking? I mean, I get it. People get into a dry spell once in a while. But come on. Yeah, well, you get a hump buster. Just put it in there and see what happens. Like, <laughs> There's nah, social distancing. <laughs> Look, if you're having a dry spell, get a hump buster. Uh, oh, yeah. Everybody can have find those. They're, they're always yeah, out there. Yeah, just get a hump buster. I mean, and get over it. Oh, she got a muffin top. Hump buster. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, just don't uh, just don't raw dog that uh, shit, okay? Mm. Just, just remember, okay, the... the 
medium to average looking chicks get more ass than all the top level chicks combined because they look attainable to drunk dudes. Well, okay, remember it's that. easy to drink somebody up to a six. Yeah. I know. Uh, l- listen, Bill Burr, you know, I, I, I love his comedy. <laughs> And he's like, yeah, eighty percent of you guys are programmed, yep. you know, to <laughs> to bang, you know, almost all the women in this room. But what he neglected to actually mention is that small percentage of individuals who will fuck everything in that room. They just need a six pack and a little imagination. It's disgusting, but it's true. Well, you know what else happens too, and I've noticed this is that there are some dudes who they'll get on a hot streak, right, and then the hot streak starts to come to an end. Like, mm. the quality of women starts to go down, and then he's like, well, mm. maybe maybe I can keep it going if I lower my standards a little bit. I mean, yeah, she's... And that's where you, they run into the 10-dick dilemma. Yeah, yeah. Never, ever. I mean, if she's a five, you give her the five dick. And that's seven, right. Seven, you give that, her the seven dick. That's you, why there's so yeah. many stalkers out there. You never it's, give a, a four chick the 10 dick. No. There's, ever. The reason we have so many female stalkers, right? Is we have individuals out there just throwing around the ten dick willy nilly. <laughs> yeah, so I'm you gotta guilty. Be careful with that. Look, you, you, I'm listen, guilty of it. And don't you dare go over ten, because then you'll never get rid of them. What, you crank that up to eleven. Well, you you can you can do uh, you know ten ten dick downstairs, and then you can do mouth music, oh, all kinds yeah. of crazy stuff that some women probably don't get on the menu that often. And next thing you know. Your phone is blowing up. You're getting text, emails. I know. I've been yeah. that guy. Yeah. yeah let's she see. loves you. <laughs> she loves me. Oh, God. Well, I was laughing my balls off. I, I, I used to date this this hot little skinny number. I'm not going to say her name. Mm-hmm. But she was, she was higher echelon in terms of looks and everything. All right. All right. I go, to, I go to break up with her because I'm sorry. When everything was great, personality was nice. You go to kiss this woman, Ugh. and it's like oh. you're you're trying to figure out. It's like a carp kissing you in the face. Like it's cold, and she has no idea what the fuck she's doing. She's just like gasping for oh. air. What the fuck? God. I tried. I tried to teach her. Yeah, couldn't do it. No. Nope. Yeah. And then I finally, nope. and I've been giving her the ten dick all along. So when I finally lay down the law, I'm like, I'm sorry. She burst into tears. But we have such great sex. I'm like, wow. You believe in equal rights? You just sent feminists back like 50 years. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. You fuck up and give them the 10 dick dilemma, man. It's... Any woman out there who says that only men are led around by their junk has not been given the 10 dick. I'm just going to yeah. say it right now. I'm, I'm, listen, if you beat up that bubble gum good enough, <laughs> she's going to you know, want to come back for you to blow more bubbles. <laughs> uh, he's By the way, I Bubbles gave, is I, back in town. He wants your new phone number. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> I, I, gave one, I gave one the 10 once. A ginger. Uh-huh. Mm. Hey. I was, like a, I was like a machine, gentlemen. Ah. A whole night. Over and over again, baby. <laughs> it was whoa. Yeah, warm sake ah, does that to me. She still hates now me. Listen, so. at my age, that's never happening again. <laughs> well, this, this I was younger. Yeah, <laughs> that was twenty years ago. So yeah, listen, yeah, that was an interesting night. That had it, never ever happened to the old hamster. It's like, wait a minute, you know, ah, ten seconds, we're done. Nope, hours. I'm like, what the, what, what's with, what's with me? <laughs> well, you're you're probably not used to seeing in the normal daylight due to the nocturnal vision that kicks in from being up Richard Gere's ass for so many. Yeah, well, that's true. That's That'll true. Do yeah. it. It's like I'm, I'm free. I'm, I'm free. free. I gotta feel yeah. my way around this bitch. Yeah. Mm. That's the fun part about gingers is they tend well. Pop would know and before they age they, like banana pudding, right? Well, yeah, but the, but they they tend to be very very sensitive in certain ways. If you know what I mean. Uh-huh. Just saying. I do indeed. Uh, the real gingers, not the fake gingers, the real ones. Although I did know yeah. a real one who she was she was like a bottle rocket. Oh. Uh, one pop and she was done. No pun intended, of course. Okay. Like, really? Literally wow. could, and it, it didn't take me long to get her there, but then I would be like All right. So um do you want me to give you a book or something while I finish my <laughs> finish yeah. my deal? You got to read the paper uh, on the back. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, hey, read me the funnies. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Exactly. Could I please? No, it's it's really true though. 
Yeah. And this, uh, we're, I mean, this, this particular one, this, the hyperventilating, the passed out, the whole, it's like, what the, when has this ever happened? <laughs> never. But like, and it's listen, never again. Everyone oh, has well. a few days like that in their life <laughs> where all of, everything just lines up. It just works. Yeah. It's just, everything's magic. Yeah. And, that's, oh, man. That that's was, happened to me. And uh, that's good. Good time. Good time. That's when I, yep. I banged the 10 and I got in a plane and left and never saw her again. <laughs> Bye. Oh yeah, the Iceland chick. Yeah, yeah. I remember that story. It, it oh, was Iceland. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. We, we we're doing a. We're basically we land to get fuel, and there was a technical issue, so they're basically <clears throat> yes. like, okay, we're gonna. You guys are flying out tomorrow. Okay. Cool. So I am in Iceland for like eighteen hours, till the, the, oh, till the next God. day. <clears throat> and it was like literally let you in. <laughs> I literally walk into the like there was a little bar on the on the airfield or near near the airfield. I walk in there and there's this woman with platinum hair, just you know, about she was about about an inch taller than me. Mm. And it's just like, oh hi you I was like, ooh. <laughs> and it literally I, <laughs> How are I, you? <laughs> Uh, you know, f- was it three or four hours later, boom, chicka, bow, bow. I mean, it, it was on. <laughs> and like, oh, yeah. you know, we, and she, I remember she, we got in her car. She, she drove me to her place. We did our deal. And then she like literally drives me back. And I had like enough time to like get a Coke out of the can, out of, out of the, uh, you know, the soda machine and walk out of the plane. That's I'm, like, I'm like, I'm like walking the plane going. <laughs> It's never gonna happen again. <laughs> By was... the way, I gotta go to Argentina. Bye. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I like it. it. Things like that happen sometimes. It, 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 listen, um, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, my uh, my it, Ukrainian once in a adventure. while. Once in a while. Yeah, I, I had a Ukrainian adventure once. She was a friend of a uh, friend of a oh. close friend that I've known since basically since we were zygotes, and uh, we're all hanging out. We'd all been drinking. She's like, oh, I think I'm probably going to crash here. I was like, all right, uh, see you. Good night. And then, you know, I do my deal, brush my teeth, get ready for bed. And I walk into my room and she's there kneeling on my bed. I'm like, here we go. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> my godfather the next morning, you know, she's already downstairs hanging out with my friend. And my godfather's hanging out there in the chair. And he comes and I walk into the kitchen. He looks over at me and he looks out on the breezeway. He's like, you and Natalia? Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm sorry yeah! I had to be in your house. It was like, where else was it going to be? <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. Let's get through some super chats. <laughs> All right. Uh, good times. Good times. All right. So we're going over to Odyssey here. We got Ben Band. There was a lad named Keith who performed circumcisions with his teeth. It wasn't for sexual pleasure nor a moment to later treasure, but to get at the cheese underneath. God! Oh! Oh! No! Oh! oh! Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh! Wow! That was terrible. <laughs> and on that note, I'm gonna pour myself another shot. Holy shit! That's terrible. Oh, this is my favorite whiskey, man. Oh yeah. Although I we did. Be, we, what, oh, what kind of whiskey do you have, Blake? I mean, the audience wants to know, sir. I got the Jameson Black Barrel. It's good stuff. Oh, Although I did pick up. A $60 bottle of Old Hickory Hermitage Rye, and I'm looking forward to to trying some of that. I think I had a little bit of it at Whiskey Fest, but by the time I got to that table, I had already gone through like 13 of my 15 drink tickets, so I don't remember exactly. Mm. Just saying. It was a good night. Popster, what do you think of this Black Barrel stuff? Is it worth it? It's actually pretty good. It's really it, good. You prefer yeah. your girlfriend, or you? Uh, I like uh, the Jameson uh, cold brew more, but regular Jameson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His cold brew girlfriend, man. Uh, she's so... yeah. Hold Ooh. her up. She's got a big old dick painted on her. Yeah, let's put there by one of our fans. Damn. It's almost <laughs> empty too. Oh, it's okay. We got another full really? one right, right there over give, there in the, the let's reserve. Give me a few bar. minutes, man. I gotta. I've been oh. drinking. Oh no. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. In that case, no, I'm going to adjourn to our sponsor of the night, Nelson Abick, and his book series. You guys need to check this guy out. Links are in the Meat Gazer box, of course. You know, 
as we find ourselves surrounded by reality which is too extreme for fantasy. We all need <laughs> to find an escape. Don't judge me. Like my buddy Nelson Abbick's books. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> These. Freedom's Forge. Stories about all of the shenanigans that took place in the Revolutionary War. Or if you have a short attention span, try his Too Cool for Earth series. It's about colonists in space. There's a monkey called Bobby Bananas. He's not evil, just kind of secretive. Like everyone else in this story. <laughs> what are you going to do? He's also hairy. I kind of like a shaved monkey myself, but not in this context. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, you can get the first Too Cool for Earth story for just 99 cents. Go to abixrealms.com. Links are in the Meat Gazer box. Meat Gazer! <laughs> yeah, uh, Nelson Abic is a huge fan of the show. He has been watching for a long time, and yeah. all of a sudden he hit me up, and he's like, I've got, I've got history stories, I've got science fiction stories. It's like, somebody in your audience will like these. I'm like, all right, I have to right. pitch him. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. He's a good dude. Yeah. All right, let's read some more Super Chats here. Jackal the Emperor, did you mean to say something in the email reply to the illegal death doc? Also, since I've never been drunk, any story I send in will not be mine. <laughs> <laughs> the Emperor was thankfully okay. not dick thinking up to date. Yeah, I, remember, I I looked at the death doc. That was actually pretty creepy. <laughs> I, I just cannot believe the, the, the level of evil that's taken place. And yeah. Nobody's doing anything about it. Uh, well, yeah, apparently it's it's almost like I think Eddie Izzard was talking about, you know, somebody kills one person, that's murder, you go to prison. You kill ten person, they put you in a padded room, and they stare at you through a small window forever. And they write books about you. And they write books about you. But over, like, a hundred people, like, we can't deal with it, you know? It's like somebody's killed a hundred thousand yeah. people. <laughs> We're almost going... Well done, well done. You got a hundred thousand people. You must get up very early in the morning. <laughs> I can't even get down to the gym. He only killed ten. Those are rookie numbers. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's almost like people can't process genocide anymore. I know, and that's exactly yeah. what we've been living yeah. through for the past two years: calculated genocide at the behest of the globalist elites. <sighs> yep. Uh, oh, it's fucking old, coof. It's okay, only going to get worse. Welcome to Joe Biden's America, where everything's yeah. made up and the facts don't matter. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. Just, Jesse, Joe is like a LimeWire virus. You're so eager to get that good song, but you end up catching a virus that destroys everything. <laughs> There's actually a bar up here in, in Warren called LiveWire. LiveWire? LiveWire Bar. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Yep. We should check it out. Uh, Jackal the Emperor, fuck that. I definitely did not vote for that stumbling Kroger bag f full of shitted diapers, diabetes pills, Alzheimer's, and used kids' underpants. The butt shipment Ugh. has been sent. Nice. Yeah. I forward those all to you, actually. Oh, I hang on to them. I have a little folder, and then I slowly bleed it dry for the content. I like it. Francois Le Chatin. So at 8.21 the p.m. Easter Daylight Savings Time, I sent you my story fit for this occasion from my email account to yours at redonculus12 at gmail.com. Oh, oh. All right, oh, let's check it out. Here we go. Oh, Holy big shit, one. it's a novel. All right. All right, so I think I've got a pretty good story for you and your audience on the occasion of Le Saint Patrice. Oh, I'm sorry, St. Patrick's Day. Uh -huh. uh, first of all, no, sorry, no bonus points for me since I, this didn't take place specifically on March 17th, but near the middle of October 1998. It doesn't matter what day it happened. It doesn't matter. We, we, no, it's doesn't bonus matter. points if it's on St. Patrick's Day. It doesn't yeah. have to be. Yeah, I gotcha. It was in his early 20s. Remember the National Public Exchange Program I told you about while telling the story of how I once found myself seeing Castro Jr. with my own eyes, standing less than 100 feet from him, mm -hmm. still nearly 20 years ago? Well, that had been it. That program was called Katmiavik. I was with my group of 11 people all together, and we were having our first weekend off in what was technically referred to as the first of our three rotations, during which we were based in the eastern part of the island of Newfoundland. We were going to have the weekend off in that first rotation in St. John's, capital city of the province of Newfoundland and Labrador. Now, technically, we were not supposed to do much of the stuff that we had set out to do then and there. That was against Katmiavik's so-called standards of behavior. However... <laughs> 
as our project leader for the first rotation, a really cool 29-year-old guy, by the way, would basically tell us, Well, I'm aware of it. Then again, I am kind of unaware of it. Thus, we stayed at a hotel near downtown St. John's. I might as well mention that I had had beer for the first time in my life on this planet only six months prior and not much alcohol before that either. Oh, boy. Mm, it's going to be good. Oh, that, okay. <laughs> that first evening, as we had barely settled for said weekend, one of my companions in the group produced the first joint of Mary Jane do you wanna that I would ever have. So I had my first few drags of it, and naturally those would be followed by quite a few more as the night went on. Afterwards, mm. he and I went to the room that was shared by some other ones of my companions in a different building on the same property, part of the same hotel. There I had quite a lot of beer and some other kind of alcohol, and then... Then, bam, pow, kaboom. The buzz and euphoria due to all of what I had taken in done hit me hard. <laughs> Much harder, in fact, than it ever would afterwards. And the few other times that I would ever have joint or pot since then. Wow. To uh, my recollection, oh, yeah. what occurred or what I did afterwards is quite a blur. I remember vividly, though, strongly being under the impression that the walls and the ceiling in the hotel room where I was then were dancing and twirling around me. <laughs> However, apart from this, I could recall nothing, zip, nada, jack and shit. And to quote Ash from the Evil Dead movie franchise, the former left town. <laughs> a picture of that scene was taken. In it, I really look like I'm having a good time, but more or less conscious. I'm half lying down on a sofa with a big smile on my face and my eyes shut. Fortunately for me, that was quite a while before the era of social media and cell phones, if you catch my drift. Yeah, I got you. Assuming that I could believe them, it seems, based on what my group companions would tell me afterwards, once I sobered up that I'd done a lot of insane stuff while being in my state of stupor from the booze and the pot I'd had. For example, I'd stepped outside only wearing my underwear. Now, specifically, I wasn't wearing panties, but briefs, as always. Sorry to disappoint you, <laughs> And I was yeah. running and dancing around like that in the parking lot near the street. They would have to grab me by the arms to get me back inside away from public eyes. Needless to say, that those stories remained fond memories that I deeply treasure to this day. Good times, as you say. Good times. That's exactly right. Mm. Yeah, you know, it reminds me of one place and uh, one story I can tell you in Chicago. But go ahead. Oh, go for it. That, that was the end of the story. <clears throat> Oh, well, it was very similar. This is <laughs> – and Polska Bob and, and uh, MGTOW Cowboy are in Chicago, so they're going to understand this one. Nice. So me and my friend are in the uh, north part of Chicago. Anyway, we're there to see a, a show, Grace Potter and the Nocturnals. don't know if you know those, but nope. uh, she's, she's really good. And so <clears throat> we went to the show. It was like down in Lincoln Park. And we're drinking. Like, hey, yeah, man, let's get some of this uh, whatever. <laughs> So we've been drinking for hours, right? So it's we're nice. we're pretty much in the bag, right? Once and so you we get drink to, to that uh, point, that language makes sense. We're like, <laughs> everyone understands Arnold a little bit better when they've had a few shots. And and the thing, oh is, yeah, yeah. Is the more you drink, the closer you get together. Oh yeah, yeah. With every was, shot, you would, you move in six inches uh, <laughs> until you're well, talking. It was, right it was actually a fun night. It was pretty fun. Anyway, I, I think it was okay. Schaumburg is where we were. But anyway, so uh, we get back to the hotel, and his buddy is there. And he goes, hey, you guys want to smoke a little weed? And of I'm course. like, ah, I don't know. I don't want to do that. Right? Yeah. Uh, but he's like, oh, come on. Don't be a, don't be a pussy. Don't you know, be a pussy, this. man. All right. So, so we took up the, uh, the Mary Jane there, and we get a pizza <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> and after all after all the weed and the booze and everything, I go back to the room and I start hallucinating that my buddy's gonna come up and he's gonna well, do Kill. things. And I'm yeah. like, Oh my god, I can't believe he's gonna do that. It's a sleep on I your back kind of a night. Go ahead. <laughs> it's a sleep on your no, back kind of a night. Oh, okay. Just making sure. He was that he <laughs> stayed with his friend and I'm like, I couldn't even eat the pizza, right? I'm like, Ew. and I was literally like drooling on myself. It was great. And so I went to the room and I was nice. like, I gotta go. Went upstairs and I'm trying to brush my teeth after you know cotton mouth and everything that I couldn't brush my teeth and then I thought oh he's gonna come up here and he's gonna do bad things to me and I'm like what the hell is this? It was just, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I've never smoked the weed the weed since. So Too much. You had the bad shit. You had the bad stuff. That I think I don't know what the hell he had, man. But uh, I mean, when I was in high school, I don't know, Pop, if you ever played with that shit. No, I no. mean, I didn't. I didn't like it. No, I never. Uh, but that. 
it's just yeah, what was the point? Was, oh, man, let's go out driving around and get get toked up. And I was like, yeah. why? Well, I usually drink, had drink good beer. stuff. No, and, I take the time, gummies to sleep. Yeah, that's about it. One time I smoked yeah. G thirteen, which is the stuff that's actually genetically engineered by our government. That stuff is choice. Oh. <laughs> really? But it's expensive well, as think... shit. It's not something that you indulge in on a regular basis. That's yeah. like you and three buddies so decided my... to go in on one joint. Uh, uh. I, I think my my buddy had the the really good stuff. I had never. I, I just don't do that because yeah. uh, I'm afraid Pop and Blake that you know if I enjoyed the old wacky weed, I'd probably be in a gutter somewhere. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I yeah, would just I mean, be like, oh yeah, man, let's get. I know up, lots so. of guys that. Well, I know four or five guys I went to high school with who were like really big into the pot thing. Yeah, and they've done absolutely nothing with their lives. Well, nothing. It's a very expensive habit, which is why it pays to not make it one. Yeah, just saying. Like they literally have done nothing. Yeah, uh, we got Jimmy Bones here with a story in an email. Well, other than All killing right. half a bottle of peach and passing out on you like a cheap date, <laughs> you, drink, <laughs> you drink half a bottle of whiskey and pass out on a one stream one time. No one lets you live it down. I got you. That's right. Here's one of my drunk stories. A house party at a friend's place out in the country, so no worries of noise complaints. We've been partying for about three and a half hours. Oh, wow. My buddy suggested we play chandeliers. Think speed quarters with a group of people with lots and lots of beer to drink. I've never heard of this. Uh, you're right. I'm not good at quarters, so naturally I lost a lot. Mm. Within what okay. I would assume was about 35 minutes or so, just by myself, I went through about 15 beers Jesus. Wow. <laughs> That's how you That's die. That's pop level. What are you talking about? I Needless to say, I was stumbling and mumbling quite a bit. I went outside to piss six or seven times. The last time, the cold air hit my face at the exact same time the bubbliest burp I ever belched came out. A combo of 20-degree air and enough air to fill a hot air balloon coming out of me brought the 15 beers back from the dead. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. My oh, mouth yeah, was a yeah. fire hose for, yeah. for 10 minutes. After all that was over, I went back to the garage, looked at my friends, and said, Fuck that game! <laughs> <laughs> I grabbed a beer, soldiered on partying for the rest of the night. Never again will I play chandeliers, and I do not recommend playing it to anyone. Yeah, we used to do that. Uh, <laughs> we used to do the yeah, beer bong thing at the barracks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I uh, never did that. Well, we used to... We had a puke for power party. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this already. And what you do <laughs> is you... You do whatever you got. You drink. You get. What, I mean, whatever it's gonna take. And then you you have when you you vomit. You have to be behind the line. And then you, you measure how far the vomit was. And the person uh, who could throw up the farthest wins. What do they win? More booze. But oh, like, goody. naturally, I I I sucked at that. <laughs> I, I, one, I'm not a puker, so I. I but some guys are like. Would, <laughs> Like drink soapy water, slam a few beers, oh. jump up and down, and like literally, like oh. they start throwing up. They're like, <laughs> Technicolor yawn, <laughs> and like you have know, a bunch of dudes suddenly like lawn chairs. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I will give him an eight. He didn't come <laughs> off the line, so he's good. He's not disqualified, but an eight out of ten. Oh, that's pretty good. How far did he go? All right, so far he's in the lead. Who's next? I'll tell you what, though, man. I will take drunk puking over high puking any day of the week. I've never One been. of the reasons I stopped smoking the Mary Jane Do You Wanna is because it started to reawaken my childhood motion sickness. Oh, and It didn't okay. matter what I was wow. doing. I could have been laying stock still, and uh, it would still feel like everything was spinning. Uh, and the reason why it's worse really? is because, one, your memory's not affected, and two munchies yeah. and you, uh. a lot of things that do not mix well in the human body sound really good all at the same time mm. and they're that much worse coming up yes they are especially when they come out of your nose and do the dance of the, oh. the of the uh, the synchronized swimmer streamers because <laughs> oh. your eyes are God, wide yeah. open you're like what the fuck <laughs> it's coming out like that. <laughs> it was bad and this is how oh, you die God. I was like, okay, if anybody ever tries to convince me to eat cinnamon rolls, potato salad, and Doritos again, shoot him. 
Exactly. No, I did have or, or, years ago. Was it? I was when I was competing as a kickboxer. Um, I went across the street to Mr. B's in Royal Oak to drink, and uh, I got a little too much. I had to actually call somebody to come get me, and uh, that's why I call whiskey. Let's go fight in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> did you write down the list? Yeah, I got the list. Yeah. So uh, apparently, I. Went out to fight this guy, and he came out with like a bunch of his friends. Mm. And uh, already I was half it. in the bag, mm. but you know he he couldn't hit me. <laughs> he couldn't hit me. I, I I was like, was he just more drunk than you? No, or? I mean I was doing like the drunken kung fu thing. <laughs> I like was slipping his punches. You know, it's Terrence just, Pop. I, I just totally humiliate master. this guy. And I'd even throw a punch back. You know, I remember slapping him down, spin around, you know. And then at one point, he th- he throws a right hand. I come underneath it. I spin. And, uh, like, literally, I'm touching his butt with my butt. His friends are all watching. And I go, boop. <laughs> and he, like, stumbles back. And then finally a couple of his friends are like, all right, this is getting out of hand here. <laughs> like, Lily's like, I'll kill that guy. Like, you're just humiliating yourself. <laughs> All right, we're out of here. He didn't even hit you one time. I mean, like I had a couple like scrapes on my face where I, you know, I got hit a little bit as you know, because you're not gonna you you roll it off. Yeah, you're not gonna dodge all the punches. (laughs) But it was funny. Like literally, his friends are just like, "Okay, this is getting embarrassing." I think we're done here. (laughs) And they literally, they just, (laughs) "I'll kill that guy." Like, no, you're not. (laughs) We're leaving now. I thought that was pretty good. Uh, I think we need to remake Drunken Master when you in the lead role. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Oh. That's some good shit. It's one of the best Jackie Chan movies, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. That was funny. Uh, I think I, I missed one part here of Jimmy's uh, email. I did think of a liar's dice drinking game. Take a shot every time you lose a die, and when you lose all five, you shotgun a beer. Thoughts? Mm. Ooh. That's how you wind up dead. <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 it could be bad it could be very bad uh we got uh the first murkos uh drinking jameson triple distilled irish whiskey oh. did you say mm. triple distilled mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. triple distilled well i don't know if this is this is it this is the black barrel okay. this is the triple distilled irish right. whiskey so you and i are oh, on yeah. the same page good yeah, yeah yeah oh yeah uh, Harvey San with a ten dollar donation on Rumble, sitting somewhere in Northwest Indiana on the bank of a river. I'm drinking my last jar of blueberry mead while enjoying my first fire pit, and a bit of some good CBD. Happy Patrick's Day to all. Mead. Nice. That sounds like a good night to me. Mead. Yeah. Mead. It's got fruit yeah, in it, so been... it's it's a marmalo. It's good stuff. I like mead. Yeah, it's like sunshine in a bottle. It's so good. Uh, we got uh, Sogo <laughs> on MGTOW.TV. Good evening, laddies. Top of the evening to you. Gosh and begora, it is the time of the drinking for the leprechaun, pea green beer, and the kissing of the blarney stones by the drunken lassies. Yeah, I, I'm I'm half in the bag, so that wasn't too bad. No, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. All right. Uh, Ballistic Zero with a $20 donation. Guinness Heineken and Jameson. Mixing Guinness oh. and Heineken? Yeah. Well, you know, when you become like a black and tan kind of thing, right? Well, I guess yeah, the thing is, is like when you pistol. become a professional drinker, it's not really a big deal to mix anymore. <laughs> professional drinker. Yeah. I mix stuff all the yeah. time. It doesn't bother I, I me suppose at all. you and I are professional drinkers because we do drink and can pay for it. <laughs> so. Yeah, we do. We do. <laughs> We're next level, it. bro. Uh, don't like the word adulting as of thirteen hundred forty-eight of March seventeenth, twenty twenty-two. Uh, my BDE CDR, I don't know what that means, decided to make us sit through another uh, something commander, BDE commander. Brigade commander. A brigade commander decided to make us sit through another fun, sharp struggle session. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God. Then he, star- he himself starts rambling how soldiers just don't know how to adult and need adulting lessons. And that's why all the soldiers in the barracks just decide to rep, hey, people, so we need cameras in the barracks. Administrative violence inbound. Yep. Fuck that brigade commander. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> uh, like all the time I did in the military, I have never ever seen a beatdown rape. 
I mean, how about you take some of those six million man hours spent on wokeness training and actually spend them doing, I don't know, combat training? Yeah. Teaching women on the front lines how to actually do their fucking job? I mean, why do you think I built a shoot house behind my reserve center? Because we were doing all of this online mandatory training and we're literally, we're not training on actual combat fucking tasks. So ridiculous, man. So literally, I I mean, I, I would... I'd start them off. I'd be like, okay, we do an hour of this online horse shit. And then I'm like, all right, we're taking a break. Shoot house it is. Boom. And I have people, you know, breaking contact, bad meeting, fighting a building, fighting out of a building. I mean, I ran them through, I had like eight or nine different uh, drills. So, you know, if they ever had to go do it for real, it was second nature already programmed into their thinking meat. Nice. Woo! Woo! Oh. We got some more here from Sogo. Made it home from my last road assignment, so I get to enjoy a full menagerie with my brothers this fine night. Yangling Light, Crown Apple, Pendleton and Coke, and Jameson Cold Brew. Winning. Hmm. Cheers, you little pointy-eared keepers of pots brown pots of brown gold. Hmm. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. that good stuff. Yingling's pretty good. You guys have that in Michigan? Or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we don't have it in here. No, you have to go to Ohio for it. Really? Yeah. I've seen it here at some of the liquor stores. Oh. Really? It must be just you. Yeah, I brought, I brought back a couple of cases of it when I went to Ohio. It's pretty good. Pretty I mean, good. it's not the end of the world. It's like Coors when we were kids. I don't know, Pop, if you remember. I don't know. Where you <laughs> well, they make Michigan a Yangling probably. black and tan that's really good. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've had it. Yeah, I've uh, had it. The beer is hitting uh, me. Okay. <laughs> He's got to go back to the bathroom. And listen, man. Oh this is God. what you get when you drink. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's do a bladder. deep fake. <laughs> Jeez. Deep fakes in bath. You are a smelly pirate hooker. You look like a blueberry. I think of a man, and I take away reason and accountability. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Two pee breaks in the first hour, man. You're definitely... Well, uh, I'm drinking, man. What do you three want? sheets. Yeah, uh, put, put on one of those uh, catheters there, Pop. I mean, geez, uh, we've got a show to do. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I know, right? I wear a diaper. Uh, Just get an orange juice jug or something. (laughs) Yeah, We got four chats in a row here from Crazy Uncle. Won't be tonight, but one day. I will fill you in on what happened when I was in Korea. After a night like Uh, that, you will never drink heavy again. uh, Well, well, yeah, everybody says that. I've never been to Korea, but I've heard all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, and every time somebody has a bad night, they always say, I'm never going to drink again. But we all know what actually winds up happening, I'm just saying. They wind up drinking again. Yep, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, ask Pop to how to flip over an EPW. It has to do with the legs. Once he put in his two cents, let him know it works with drunk guys, hmm. too. Don't ask me how I know that. Hmm. Huh. Do you know hmm. how to flip over an EPW? No. No? Well, jail. No. 
Back in the day, I had a phrase I lifted. I lived by each weekend. Okay. If I'm not getting fucked, yeah. I'm getting fucked up. <laughs> but oh, hang on. Ah. Yeah, we, oh. used to, we used to do fight, fuck, or fucked up. Yes, one sometimes would lead to the other. That is true. Though by next morning, due to coyote ugly, I would hear, "Hey, mm. hey, hey!" <laughs> now that's a that's a fake redhead. That's not a real one. Yeah, you're probably correct. But hey, you know, I had to try to put these things I'll together. I'll take it anyway. It's no, nice. nice but it I can remember, nice like, uh, going to, like, a co-ed barracks where finance worked <laughs> and banging some chicks that worked there and then doing the, the walk of shame the next morning on a Sunday. Uh, you're walking out of the barracks and they're all like, the women are all like. <laughs> and like Sound carries oh it. Where did this man come from? Oh my god! Oh my gosh! It's <laughs> that poor fucker gave her the ten dick, and we all know about Stacy, the high hard yeah. one, the hot beef injection. <laughs> or actually, no, no. in your case, it would be a Lisa, right? What are you talking about? <clears throat> you always had Lisas. Oh, yeah, quite well, a few Lisas. Yeah, there's about four or five of them in there. It's good times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the overpriced fuel, I'm prepaying a new tech butt, along with a straw standby, fire when ready, and also drink. I can do that. Uh, mm. Outstanding. Mm. What's up, faggots? <laughs> <sighs> so go. Well, fine, lassie. Do you have any Irish in you? No. Would you like some? Do <laughs> you like some? <laughs> yeah, we've heard that a few times. Yes. <clears throat> a couple times. Does that mean that on Chinese New Year's, the butts will favor Asians? I'm asking for a friend. I don't see why not. I don't see why not. No, I would gladly, so, yeah. gladly good, yeah. throw some Asian butts up there. I'm totally cool with that. Mad Hatter. Get some Mad ginger Hatter. Asians in there. <laughs> yeah, ginger Asians, yeah. Do they exist? Well, I mean, that, that takes well, us back to Fang hey. Fang with the Scottish accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yes, <laughs> please bend over and spank me. Please, MP, make sure that you pull the hair and snap the bra. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> I think we're in a sheaf, boy. <laughs> Are you? <laughs> Would you like to smoke some hashish? Just make sure you don't knock the ashes off on my back. <laughs> Do you see the beast? <laughs> the time has come to confront our old adversary, Whiskey Dick. <laughs> Uh, he's adversary. not Irish, though. He's, he was... Uh, he's Scottish, yes. Man. Whiskey yeah, Scottish guy. Adversary. Surely you mean adversary, old boy. I'm uh, sure you guys have seen that video with him going, oh, yeah, once in a while, you know, you just got to slap those women up. Keep once in the a line. while, you just got to smack them, let them know exactly what's up. Uh, Mad Hatter <sighs> Metador with a $25 donation. Okay, I got a question for you, Pecker Nats. Uh-huh. Yes. What is the most booze you have had to imbibe to get yourself to be able to sleep with a ditch-dragging oh. woman? You're talking Ugh. ditch pig, ditch pig drinking. Ditch pigs, yes. Ditch it, pig drinking. Be it for taking care of the big fat cock blocking friend so your friend can get some, or you need her to break a dry spell. We've all been there. Be honest. Eight. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Eight drinks. I never did the fall on the anchor thing Ooh, for my nah, buddies nah. because we weren't bar guys. So. No, nah, no. I, I literally, I, there's a few times I hip hop. <sighs> Can you help me out? <laughs> you fucking owe me, you I'm bastard. Like, all right. But I'm not I'm not paying for my booze. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's a fair I trade. Mean, did, yeah? Have you ever have you ever uh, right before you're all got the beer goggles and you're out of your mind and it's like, am I really gonna do this? Uh, oh yeah, the inner monologue. I have to do it all the time. Um, There's nothing like having yeah. post nut clarity pre nut. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. When you're in the middle <laughs> you of it, you're, you're, you're going to town, and all of a sudden you just get a good look at her face, and you're like, "What, what am I doing? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm already." I love here. my buddy, but I, but he, oh God, no, no, no! <laughs> I'm doing this for him, man. It's not for me. It's not for me. Oh no! I, love I you, take Jill. no yeah. pleasure no. in this. <laughs> yeah. Dude, about, yeah, about eight. Eight is probably the worst. If you say that out loud, and then she's like, "Clearly, like, hey, uh, <laughs> don't." Can we don't watch a, a movie? Uh, can we do you know, chill out for a while? It's like, no, like, no, no. me now. Give me the ten. Oh God, no. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> yeah, double Damn. bag that face. It's like, oh Jesus uh, Christ. All right. Oh yeah. shit, man. After a good buddy of mine was in the process of getting divorced. And I actually shot his wedding. Ooh. And I knew her first. Ooh. 
You know, I was trying to do the whole, you know, I can be friends with both of them, no. thing, right? Because I knew her first, and you know, no. we actually met him through her. Blah blah blah. So, took her to dinner. Uh huh. Less than halfway through dinner, I realized this woman is trying to sell herself to me because she's mm. talking herself up. I'm like, this is a little weird. And then, of course, I go to drop her off back at her house. You want to come in and watch a movie? <laughs> no. And we know what that uh, means. No, I know exactly what that means. And uh, you got two kids, a prior abusive baby daddy, and your uh, and your soon to be ex husband is one of my good friends. That is not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm fine with it being my my brother from another mother, but Eskimo brother is not on the menu. Thank you very much. I mean, that, that's how you wake up in the morning with pickaxes slammed through the roof of your car. Oh, she still tried to pull the. Oh, you won't believe what Blake yeah. did the other night when we were hanging out at dinner, and he calls me up. He's like, "Oh yeah, Stacy said this." I was like. You know, she's full of shit. It's like, oh, yeah, I fucking almost hung up on that bitch. Like, yeah. I, knew the- <laughs> I knew it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. He knew the deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gotcha. So um, I, I knew this guy when I was working, and I went out with this chick, broke up with her, right? And he kept telling me, I've never, ever, I, I can't do the Eskimo brother bit. Sorry, man. No. You know, you went out with this girl. Can't. Can't no. do it. Can't do it. Well, that's a so good three po- months later. That's a good policy. <laughs> that's a very good policy. <laughs> Three months later, he writes me an email. He says, hey, Hamster, uh, do you used to go out with this one woman named this? I said, yeah, why? Oh, my God. He met her on Tinder or something. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh-huh. <laughs> Three kids, yeah. they come first. You need to be a real man and step <laughs> Get the fuck yeah. out of here with that. God, God I'm damn. tired of the turned games. Out, turned out this uh, this one particular girl after I broke up with her. She went on a kind of a divorce uh, F-fest, went uh-huh. on a lot, oh. got a little bit of a, she got a little Riggs Jr. type activity going oh. on, apparently really nasty. Oh, no. <laughs> like, oh, we know what oh, that God. means. Oh, oh boy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Double shot and pills and no cure. <laughs> so That's she, right. she was out there slinging the chl- uh, chlamydia clam about. Oh. Yeah. And it but, takes uh, nothing. I guess she, she wanted to make up for lost time, I guess. She wanted some Ooh. top ten. She got it. Reckless yeah. disregard with that uh, nasty old chlamydia clam flinging yeah. around. She's not shallow. Oh. She's deep. Balls deep. Uh. <laughs> Hamster, he broke my heart. I'm going to go out and screw a bunch of guys. Uh, okay. <laughs> Good. Have fun. Have fun Very with that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to go with a big fuck off. There you go. <laughs> yeah, we've heard that before. I've heard, I've heard that before. <laughs> yep. Uh, Ballistic Zero, back in my day when I was at Texas, my buds and I went down to 6th Street, Austin for St. Patty's Day. Apparently the bartender had drugged my drink and one of my pals figured it out. By the time I came to, I got the resident New York Irish in my PLN just running and yelling, We need to go! Let's go! No time to explain! I found out he torched the place with the Boy Scout trick I showed him the same week. Made me proud. Nice. <laughs> torched it. Yep. Wow. Yeah, Amazing. we had a, uh, a situation like that happen. That uh, it was a bar called uh, was it the Cafe Max or was it the Pontiac Airport? Hmm. One of our soldiers got sucker punched in a fight in a parking lot in the. And I say sucker punch just because the bouncers knew the guy he was fighting. They came out and held him, and the dude basically hit him in the face and blinded him in one eye. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah, and um, was it the, a month later? You know, they I guess they had thought it all boiled down or blew over. And I remember I went up there with just to ask some questions. Uh, apparently, sixty other people had the same idea. So we, I, I, I'm literally, I walk in there. I'm talking to these three or four bouncers. They're huge. He's, I mean, you know, they're all steroids. You know, steroid hounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. And yeah. they're like, ah, fuck you. Yeah, yeah. It's no. I'm, I'm like, just want the guy's name. You know, hey, get the fuck out of here. And then I hear, and I look back, and there's like eighteen dudes pulling out fucking guns. <laughs> what? And I, I literally, I look at the these two these two white bouncers, and I go, "You're fired. Don't ever come back here." They just left. And this other dude, who's doing all the talking, all the you know, being Mister Tough Guy. Yeah. I'm like, this is what's going to happen. You're going to give me the name of somebody involved, 
or people are going to die here tonight. <laughs> oh, shit. And he's like, oh, oh God. <laughs> and then, like, uh, you know, four to six weeks later, that place uh, tragically burned down. Mm. I'm not saying you had anything <laughs> to do with it. No, it's just coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Totally. Yeah. Uh, I dink. I don't know what happened. I heard it was a grease fire. <laughs> Who knows? Just I happens. Know. Smoking cigarettes, you know, it's bad for you. Uh, no, no. Yeah, and you then, never ever drop the frozen turkey into the grease bath. Yeah, it causes a bad and, thing. Oh, and then year, I said like four or five years later, I get back from Iraq, and I'm at the Rainforest Cafe at the big mall right there. Oh yeah, yeah. And lo and behold, big bouncer, the same guys working there. And I remember I'm walking in. Was he like, waiting tables or no, something? He, he was at the, you know, basically the host seating people. Oh, big, man. I mean, he was big. And I walk in and he's like, yo, I'm like table for two. And uh, my daughter, he's like, okay. And I, and I look at him and I'm like, you don't remember me, do you? <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> and yeah, I had a whole entourage of people with guns who were going to kill you at the Cafe Max. He's like, oh, uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get you a free beer, sir? <laughs> Yeah, his tune changed pretty quick. <laughs> oh, that's that's good stuff. Uh, <laughs> ah, tragic. It's very tragic. Things happen though. Yeah, it it does. It happens. It does happen. It does. Happen People fuck you up, man. That's just the way it is. Yeah, I figure what we'll do is we can read super chats here until maybe nine thirty, and then we'll take a quick pee break, and we can go to new tech so we can see some real new tech butts, and then we'll get into some urban dictionary definitions. We'll see if we can make pop puke. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Keith Peterson says he's drinking. Beer. Now, specifically, what kind, Keith? You drinking Guinness? You drinking because some people think Bud Light is beer, like pop. He's drinking real beer right now. Why do you think he's taking two yeah. piss breaks? Bud already? Light. Jesus. What did pop? What are you doing? Bud Light is <laughs> piss. I'm sorry. Piss. It's Respect low, yourself, bro. Low Come calorie on. piss. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Uh, big shout bitches. out to uh, Kyle Depew, uh, donated 20 through Stripe. Thank you very much, good sir. Always appreciated. Uh, oh, we got some fun uh, fun stories coming up here. This is going to be great. All right. Oh. Thumper the sweaty fat guy. There we go. And he says, hamster. Thumper. Pop brings all yes. the finest people into the stream. <laughs> 428 is, by the way, a Pontiac and a Ford engine. Yes, yes. Four, is it 428 or 427? Uh, Thumper, by the way. True. I thought it was 427. Uh, well, Thumper knows his cars, so I'm going to guess he's probably right on 428. I'll guess he's probably right. Yeah. Yeah. Fucked up story. Uh, 1983. It's the year I was born. That's a long time ago. I was 13 years just, old, just a few months shy of 14, and I had to ride with my idiot brother to a church function. Volleyball tournament with our church group versus other churches in the area. Something to do with the pre-internet days where I got to look at cute girls in tight, small shorts and watch things bounce. So, yeah, you son of a bitch, I'm in. After my group won... Uh... Excuse me. Drink it. After my group won, because we had the entire varsity girls volleyball starting lineup... Multiple time state champs, went on to play in universities all over, coaching, etc. Mm, tall mm. German girls. Mm. Mm. Okay, I had to take care of something real quick. <laughs> Why do my hands smell like... Never mind. We ended up in a cornfield. Everyone got drunk except me. I just didn't feel like getting drunk. I might have told you this story already, or I told Billy Von Baum, whatever. It's still fucked up. Riding home with my idiot brother, driving down dirt roads in his 1970 Charger, pictured below... I'll show that oh, off here right. if I can get it on the screen. Wow. Oh, there you go. Uh, well, it's got a shattered windshield. Hopefully that's not from the said story. Da, da, da. We were following my cousin, who had two other people in the car, an eighth of a mile back. She stopped at the bottom of a hill, and I saw it immediately as we crested the top and said, she stopped. My brother said, yeah, and then plowed into the back of her Toronado. Ooh. Uh, Since he bought that car and I rode in back with him... Rode back with him in it from the seller's house. I always had this fucked up feeling just sitting in it. It would go away when I put on the seatbelt, so I would click it every time I got in, and my brother got pissed about that. He hit me several times, said it messed up his interior, and then he shoved the belt under the seat. Just an FYI, teeth prints in the dash, blood everywhere, bits of skin and gums all over the dash and floor, and a smashed windshield kind of messes with an interior worse than seat belts. 
I got a healthy TBI before anyone realized what they were. Mild concussion, which they knew what it was. Lost tooth number eight, which is the right front one for you non-dental people. Hmm. Shoved my upper lip up over my nose and broke my honker and gave me a custom grill with lots of interesting scars in and out of my mouth. Nice. Damn. Got three days off school from it. Then everyone wanted to see the gaping hole in my maw. The chicks were not impressed. <laughs> For the next 20 years, I had bits of bone finding their way out past my gums and other teeth. Oh, God. Yeah, that happens. The U.S. Air Force did two bridges for me, 1989 and 2004, and the VA just did a third one in 2018, 2019. Took a year to do it with bone grafts, implants, implants lots of pain and healing at home. God, I was yeah. the only one who got hurt. Another fucked up story, Korea 20, 2002. I got a bit too drunk in the club on soju, and they kicked off a surprise chem exercise the next day. Man, a hangover in Mop 4 seriously sucks ass, and I had to work my normal eight-hour day, then stay to work night shift as well. Try not to puke in your gas mask. Just saying. That's a long day. That Ooh, is a long that day. That is nasty, brother. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, you poor, poor bastard. Uh, Douglas Shannon is drinking, is drinking homemade blueberry wine. Mm-hmm. Could be good stuff. Mm-hmm. Might turn your shit blue, bro. Forced oh, that's out. That's a good story, too. Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, forced out is drinking bird dog peach whiskey. Yeah. That's what got Jenny yep. Bones all fucked up. Yeah. That'll get you crazy. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Ken J with a total of a $40 super chat. Out freaking standing. Let me give you the sound effect here. Buddy made some homemade apple cider slash wine slash whatever. Put it in beer bottles. Thought it was going to be a low-octane hard cider. I downed one, felt nothing. Second, nothing. Got through another one and a half. Oh. And I don't remember anything after that. Yeah. Booze like that sneaks up on you. Yeah. Never, ever think that it's not going to hit you. Not to mention he probably had just a horrific hangover. He said he woke up the next day begging for death. I went to my buddy afterwards, pissed off, and he was horrified at what I did. Shit was basically moonshine. Ugh, now I can't do anything Apple. It was bad. Yeah, I gotcha. Sounds pretty bad. Yep. Robert yep. Anderson is drinking Fireball Whiskey. Got a big bottle of it in there. Oh, this should sound familiar, Pop. Whistle Pig Farm Stock Rye for Slotted Diamond. The $80 bottle that you bought in Vegas. Yeah, fuck. It's way too expensive. Oh, I, I never sent you the picture. I was at a Total Wine and More uh-huh. out in Shelby, and I saw the bottle of Whistle Pig on the shelf here in Michigan. 40 bucks. Wow. Yep. 40 bucks. Mm, yeah, 40 bucks here. Expensive. Half the price of Vegas. Fuck Vegas. Vegas is bad. Just me with a $100 super chat. Holy cow. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. If you're playing Jimmy Bones' drinking game, you all got to do a shot. Thank you very much. Right. There you go. Hey, very good. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Proud ah. Basque here. Happy St. Patty's Day anyway. And happy St. Patty's Day to you, brother. Thank you so much. King of Sharks. Have you guys heard about the human trafficking bust in Cook County, Florida? Yes, I yes. have. Four Disney employees were involved. Are you shocked? Why are we not aban- why have we not just already abandoned Disney? They don't give don't a fuck know. about this country. Yeah. They're pushing a fucked up agenda that's not fam- family friendly at all. Yep, and, and like they're fucking up all of our movies. I mean, why? Why are we tolerating them? And, and they're the ones pushing the oh, it's called it's the don't say gay law in Florida. Gee, I wonder why you don't like the idea of children not being taught sex from K through three. Could it be because mm. you're trafficking them? Yeah, just saying. Now we're getting now we're getting heavy here. <laughs> now we're getting heavy. I have no idea why <laughs> yeah. we, we haven't just just totally flushed Disney down. The Fuck floor. Disney. Just saying. <sighs> mm. Ugh. Yep. Or Duck Fisney, as Thumper the Sweaty Fat Guy says in the chat. Uh, Shark Dentures, compensation slash apology for being late. I was caught up on the Critical Drinkers Two Towers stream. Oh, that explains a lot. All right. Uh, I mean, uh, yep, yep. Critical Drinkers, the man. Yes, he is. I love his stuff. Patriotic Southerner with a forty nine ninety nine donation. May we have a moment of silence for the passing of a Vietnam War veteran, my grandfather, Sergeant First Class Hood. December 13th, 1941 through March 11th, 2022, 27 years served in the Army. Rest in peace and you will be missed. Till Valhalla. 
I will say this, though. That is a very good run. That is a good fucking run, man. 81 Ooh. years old. Yeah, good, good for, for him. him. Yeah, good for him. Cheers. Especially as a Vietnam exactly. War vet. I mean, to make it to eighty-one, a lot of those guys wanted to get guys, cancer oof. from Agent Orange and all that shit. They usually so. don't make it to seventy. Yeah, God bless him, and yeah. Godspeed. I myself am not anticipating seeing seventy. No, you're on the sixty-five and out plan. That's absolutely correct. That's why we're That's having right. a pizza party for your fantastic moment party in November. Which, by the way, <laughs> as soon as we secure that hall, tickets are going on sale, and I expect to see all you motherfuckers there. I'm just saying. Yeah, we got to get that hooked up. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna have a party in Michigan. Is that what's happening? Yes, that is gonna be because Pop's last child support payment is coming up here in the next few months, and so Veterans oh, Day weekend, yeah. <laughs> Veterans Day weekend at a local VFW hall, we're gonna invite a bunch of dudes up for a pizza party, and we're gonna do a grunt speak live on a Saturday right there in front of a live audience. <sighs> All right, yeah, yeah, sounds yeah. like fun. You better be yeah. there, hamster. God, what well, hell yeah! I did first I've heard of it, but yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Wadley two twenty five. Vladimir Putin should be considered for a Nobel Prize. He cured COVID, at least from the daily news media coverage. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, please! Hey! Oh, in the face! In your face! I, I blocked that one too. <laughs> Damn it! Ha <laughs> ha! Your drunken master does not beat my drunken master. You're probably right. I look like a fucking Power Ranger. <laughs> Levi's Backyard Performance. Terrence, you have 700 watching. I need 310 subs for a race that I want to go to. It's called the No Name Nationals. It's YouTubers, Drag Race, and Card Show. Can you help a brother out? Sure. Absolutely. Go subscribe yep. to Levi's Backyard Performance. And now that I'm saying it for a second time, that sounds really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it did not it did not sound right. You want to take over as captain of the gay cruise or you can have a hat. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wow. Hi, I'm I'm just I'm the, the, the CEO of Levi's Backyard Performance. We're a bunch of power bottoms here. Make sure you bury your generators so that it doesn't get attacked by rain. <laughs> God he does it well. Holy crap. Yeah, I, I can do voices. What pretty amazing. Say? Uh, Ross well. Bodie, what is a good way to tell a wild Karen to f off? Fuck off. Just tell her to f off. Uh, uh, this is what I've noticed. Well, if she's like a work associate or something, you have to walk a little bit of a fine what, line. Well, what I've noticed about Karens that really pisses them off, you just ignore them. Yeah, Lily, like that. <laughs> you just and go you're sitting there. Wah 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 wah. <laughs> I listen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've done that quite a few times. Or you, you, so have I. You'll be at the bar, and this girl will be going off. You, know, yeah, and you just slowly yeah. turn away. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Just, uh, you have a small penis. You can't get laid. You must be gay. You seem nice. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'd love to hang out with you, babe. You just, really, you just slowly great. turn away. You must they believe that. They rights. fucking hate that. <laughs> <laughs> they hate it. They do. <laughs> Smooth criminal, Incredible Hulk with some Jaeger drops for extra. Oh, uh, Jaeger. That's uh, not a good one. So Incredible Hulk, is that a specific drink? I don't know. Like a mixed drink? I don't know. The Jaegermeister. Yeah. Let's look it up. I'm all, I'm curious. Yeah, the effect Jaegermeister has is projectile vomiting. Yes. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, no question uh, about that. <laughs> Incredible Hulk drink recipe. Two ounces of Hennessy, two ounces of Hypnotic, one half cup of ice, more Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's good yes. times. <laughs> Whatever works for you, brother. Uh, it's green, so makes sense. Got it. Uh, Signer Gase with a $20 donation. All right. <laughs> Make sure Pop sleeps on his stomach. I'm three Irish car bombs in making scotch eggs and oven-cooked sliced potatoes. The best thing the popster has ever said, live out of spite. Absolutely correct. Listen, people, yes. We've got to take a break. Listen, you got to beer, take another break. killing me, man. All right, we're just going to keep it going then. you got to take a piss again? Oh, <laughs> He's my He's going to take a piss Jeez. again. <clears throat> okay, old man. Go ahead. I don't know what to tell you, man. Drain the main vein. Do it. Alex Patino. Damn it, guys. With that circumcision story, I had pepperoni pizza in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's Gosh. an unfortunate chain of events, good sir. Funny, but not cool. <laughs> I like. I it, was going to say now, hey, Blake, I was going to say that uh, Incredible Hulk 
What you could do is take some absinthe and drop in like a Red Bull shot and slam it. That, that might is work. True. I mean, I'm almost sure like there's... instant puke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of Irish car bombs going around tonight. Uh, perhaps if you're of the Asian persuasion, some sake bombs. Those are also quite delicious. I believe those are uh, shots of sake and Sapporo beer, if I remember correctly. Yum. Mm-hmm. Or Asahi or Ichiban, if you prefer. So I've actually I've tried them all. Sapporo is my favorite. But I mean, it's it's important that we celebrate St. Patrick on this day because uh, he you know came to Ireland in about 500 A.D. and he invented the Shamrock Shake. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's it's a worthy uh, opportunity to sell. Yeah, and then they imported it over here, and together with the McRib, you got I, I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> Heaven. Heaven. <laughs> White trash paradise. <laughs> I mean, give me the McRib. Who the who the hell eats the McRib? Is, I don't are you know. a McRib I, guy? I, I hear about it all the time. I've never eaten it in my life. Uh, don't of even course, bother. I managed to avoid McDonald's for well over a decade. And then, of course, I mean, my son is born, and he's like, oh, hey, happy meal. Like, yeah, get some chicken nuggets. Fucking... My daughter was like, oh, let's get the chicken nuggets. Fine, like, oh, you were Jesus, good all day. Do you have any idea what you're eating here, <laughs> Jennifer? <laughs> no. It's like, that's well, not... I like them. They're really tasty. Well, like, oh, this is so this good. It's not real meat. They got chicken lips and, and all kinds of chicken balls and all kinds of shit. Oh, God. <laughs> not anymore. They've oh, made them better. Oh, chicken but... testicles in your McRib. Enjoy that shit. Chicken. Just chicken I just testicles. Uh, oh God, uh, cock testicles pop. Listen, that's the reason yeah, why I, I don't. I drink Bud Light, <laughs> not Guinness. It's because oh. it activates your bladder and overdrive. Is that it? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> oh shit, man! You remember like for, like season one or season two when we did Dude Law? Yeah, that was when I introduced you to Guinness Extra Stout. Oh yeah, my tongue went numb. Mm-hmm. That was twisting mm. you up worse than whiskey. Yeah. That's one of my little, favorite episodes remember, ever. Like the, the outside edge of my tongue got numb, and I'm like, and you're looking at the bottle. You're like, dude, how much alcohol is in this? All it says is drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why no, would I want to do that? I mean, I, that's, my God. that's why I stick to the Bud Light and <laughs> mixed drink and a couple shots. You're damn right. Now, if you guys, if you guys want to do some Guinness, there's something called I think it's Special Export or something like that. I think Ooh. I know what you're talking about, yeah. But that, that extra very stout delicious. is what fucked you up. Mm. That, that stuff oh. is mm. very bitter, though, so you got to have a palate for that. It didn't. I, I mean, I like the taste. Yes. It just uh, didn't, didn't. My body didn't like it. <laughs> All right, we're going to read a few yeah. more Super Chats here, and then we're going to adjourn to New Tech so we can show some good butts, and we're going to read some Urban Dictionary definitions. We're going to try uh, to no, make this Oh, God, cute. no. Read Reaper01 has a St. Patrick's Day Uh, story. He says, refill your glass and check your liver lights. Prepare your brain pans to re-enter my twisted childhood. I've only been drunk twice in my life. This is the story of that first time. During my childhood, Wango Tango, the woman came and got me in the middle of the night to go to a party. FYI, at this particular point, the Wango Tango had been going on for a few months, so I already knew what the deal was. Plus, I really had nothing to live for. Mm. That just sounds sad. Mm. Anyway, upon arrival, I noticed that everyone was at least 12 years older than me. Also, I noticed that I was the only male there. I have a bad Uh feeling about this. Oh, no. (laughs) Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. The smell of weed and God knows what else. And suddenly, out of nowhere, my head was yanked back and a bottle shoved in my mouth. After downing half the bottle, it kicks in almost immediately, and I feel very lightheaded and thorny. Uh I spent the next ten minutes with a face full of various pairs of cleavage. You motorboatin' son of a bitch. Then I find myself in the center of the living room, stark naked in the arms of three slobbering women. Then one of them reaches into her bra and pulls something out while the women chant three bean salad. My head is yanked around and a kiss is planted on me with the pills slipping into my mouth with a shot to wash them down. That my, is not good. No. Why you have not become the gimp, I have no idea. <laughs> what are you thinking, bro? Stop it. He was a kid. <laughs> I don't care. My last solid memory of that night were the spiral triangle pendants around the necks as they stripped naked. After that, it was just flashes of one woman after another and firing off like an overpressurized lawn sprinkler. 
I woke up the next day on top of some strange woman with a brain-melting headache. Recently, wow. my therapist explained to me that those pendants were the marks of boy lovers, oh, no. according to cops and stuff. Needless to say, I don't drink. Nice. Damn. You're so lucky that he's not the gimp. I mean, it's just... It's wow. nothing good. Nothing good comes from this, dude. You, you, there needs to be like a a movie made about this guy's life. No shit. Wow. Jeez. But it would wow. expose Hollywood, and that I, they probably wouldn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, they probably wouldn't. I'm tired. I'm tired of the. Yeah, yeah this Hollywood. is what Disney calls a good weekend. Holy so. shit. Rad <gasps> bastards. Holy, Holy shit. Travis Wolf sent an email to the Redonkulous email. Let's check it out here. Hope all is well. I was still dating my ex, and the day after, and the day I met her family, we were having drinks. I didn't drink all that much to make a good impression on her family. Her aunt got two sheets to the wind drunk. She looked at my ex, and I and I, and straight faced, said, "I don't want him in any of her regions." <clears throat> Fast forward a week or so, my ex was house sitting for her aunt. Uh -huh. <laughs> I fucked her for the first time in her house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Yeah. I and like I, it. I've been that guy as well. Well, mm. we uh, <clears throat> make town. I think I remember gonna... the, like, Go ahead. it's one of those things that you, you might remember if you're not too drunk is the jangling necklaces and the. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm there. I'm there. I'm there. Yep. I got it. I remember yep. that shit. Oh, yeah, my yeah. Uh, my wife. I know black pill dudes are gonna be like, "How long are you gonna get divorced, Blake?" We're doing just fine. She used to work at Comcast. Mm -hmm. She used to work with. Oh. I'm sorry to say, a ginger dude who was lock, stock, and barrel planted himself in the friend zone. Okay. Mm. Asked yeah. my wife to house sit for him, and she's like, "Okay." Bling and Bra Blake with me. He's like, "Okay." <laughs> nice. He found out what happened on his basement floor. Winning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> baby. Nice. <clears throat> well, oh, you yeah. have to send a message yep. somehow. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Again, die 351. Pop instead of LGBTQWTF LOL. We go with confused poles and holes. <laughs> I like that. I'm just going to write that down. That's pretty confused poles and holes. I like it. Confused poles and holes. Or L O L B B Q W T F. It's all the same letters. Tony Soprano. Pop looks kind of like a leprechaun. Maybe he's Irish. Um, do I have any Ar Irish in me? I mean, it's a little bit. Not since the last time you passed out yeah. and don't remember. Well, <laughs> no, that's in, funny. In Dublin, yeah. No, no, but you know, I I have like a, a lot of German and Slavic. Yeah. Uh, you know, for Ukraine stuff like mm. that. Explains the nose. Yep. Yeah, we got the I got the big nose. Yeah. What are you gonna do? It, it's been busted. German, for Hungarian, <laughs> Irish. Yep. <laughs> yep. A wee nose. bit of Irish. A wee bit of Irish. There he is. Uh, I like it. I like it. Sam Whiskey. I ended up in a jacuzzi with my mom's two girlfriends. Oh. They were uh -huh. topless and European. Were mm. European on them when they asked you to? Just ask. <laughs> thanks, oh. <laughs> thanks, Johnny Walker, for no, being my wingman. Oh, there we go. Oh, damn! Your your mother's friends. God. God. That's disgusting. I couldn't even imagine that. Uh, atomic Dimension Traveler. I'm drinking Doers or Dewars, Dewars. Oh, Cheers right. to Pop Blake and all the freaks, grunts, and mutants watching. Mm. Outstanding. Mm. I sent you guys a photo of teleportation. Gmail. Oh, uh, uh, I see it right criminal. there. <laughs> 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 yep, you drink that and you wind up right in the bathroom. Nice. Just teleport you right there. I like it. <laughs> uh, let, let me tell you. I dig it. It is like the first time I started blacking out, I literally was reaching for a glass of who are you and where's my car <laughs> and that was thursday night and then i remember standing in front of a tv in the barracks and it was sunday so i i literally had been drinking 
the entire time and never let my blood alcohol get low. And I, I was literally walking around talking like I was sober, but I was blackout drunk. That happens. I had no idea what happened. It does never, indeed I happen. I never got those memories back either. Well, no, that's that's not really how that works, unfortunately, unless, you know, you're freakishly susceptible to hypnosis. No, and I'm pretty sure Evil Pop had, you know, he did some evil shit. <laughs> I have no idea what he did. <laughs> Thor Najal, keep being amazing, y'all. Cheers. $20 donation. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you very much. C.G. Roberts sent an email. Let's check it out here. Drunken Landscaping. So I'm 19, six foot three, 310 pound bouncer in a strip club. I go home with this dancer. She's a buck ten, five foot one, nice C cup rack. Mm. We were drinking 151 mm. with Cokes. Before I know it, we've killed three quarters of a 1.75 liter bottle. And she wants to go into the bedroom. Ugh. We get inside and she jumps me down to the bed and I nearly lost my drink because it's a water bed. She does some ninja sex shit with her toes where my pants are at my ankles and I'm inside without any hands. <gasps> Ten minutes in, I, I've experienced this myself. Ten minutes in, I'm being rode like a stolen car and it hits me. I throw her sideways on the dresser, run out to the balcony, and blow chunks in a pine tree. <laughs> I lost my load on someone walking on the sidewalk. Oh, God. Oh, no. my God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. No more 151 ever. Oh, and by the way, the pine tree's dead. Oh. <laughs> mm. My God, Jesus! <laughs> My oh, goodness, shit. that's a, that's, that's a night. Man, that's one. That's a night and a half. Dawn Buck Creek. ten five one though. Ooh, that yeah. that that could work. That could work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it reminds me of some good times. Uh, Dawn Creep, just mixing peanut butter whiskey and strawberry moonshine. Got to say, not bad. So it's like a peanut butter and jelly drink. Yeah. Boom. Boom. It could I, be. I don't know if I. Yeah. Yeah. Could be worse. That's one of those you maybe want one of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. So I'm sure we have some new tech chats that we're going to get to here. <gasps> hang on, hang on. I got it. I got to do just just one more. But yeah, yeah that's not bad. We're going to take a quick break it can't here. Can't be real <laughs> to empty our squirrel bladders or hamster bladders, if you prefer. What? And we're going to read some Urban Dictionary definitions that are mm. nastier than nasty mm -hmm. and try to make this grunt here behind the bar puke. We're going to see you in five minutes on New Tech. Look for those links in the chat. It's going to be good time. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hey, dude. 